Welcome everybody to Roland Garros 2014 draw ceremony. I'm Eli Weinstein. Alongside me, Guy Forget, uh, tournament director of the BNP Paribas Masters and the sporting uh, analysis in this tournament. He is part of everything. Guy, thank you for being with us today. My pleasure. Are you ready to commentate this draw? Uh, are you excited? I'm very, very excited because you know a lot of things happen. You know during the those few minutes, and I know a lot of players are waiting. Uh, you know, very impatient to know who they're going to be facing in the first round. For you, as an ex player, you were number four in the world. Of course, everybody knows that. Uh, what, 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 these draw ceremonies were they important? Was it something you guys would pay attention to? Or? Well, some guys are very superstitious. Don't want to look. Some other guys, you know, are really waiting. You know about. To who, who they're going to play in the first few rounds although now when they're with 32 seeds you know it's a little bit easier on the big names but still you have some very tough first rounds we've seen in the past okay we have here behind us uh, the president of the tennis federation who is coming on stage and he's going to say a few words um, I might translate into English uh, or Guy if you want to take oh, it you away you go ahead okay bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans ce magnifique uh, Hello, Welcome to all of you in this uh, wonderful museum of, of the French Federation of Tennis. Traditionnellement, je sais que ce tirage au sort est toujours très 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 attendu, car après les premiers jours de qualification, il fait office de de coup d'envoi officiel de notre tournoi. And I know that uh, this draw is uh, always waited by a lot of people. It's the opening of the tournament. Un tournoi. Uh, Toujours aussi euh, aussi magique, c'est vrai. Et quelque chose me dit que cette année encore, nous ne serons pas déçus. It's always magical, and uh, I know that this year will be the same again. Avant de commencer, euh, je tiens à saluer la présence euh, ici d'une immense, d'une grande championne. Merci infiniment euh, à Serena Williams d'être parmi nous à l'occasion de de ce tirage au sort. And I want to uh, welcome a great and a wonderful champion, Serena Williams. Thank you for being here with us for this draw. Rafa va également nous rejoindre. Ils ont tous les deux brillé ici de nombreuses reprises. Et c'est un honneur d'accueillir nos deux tenants du titre qui ont accepté d'effectuer ce tirage au sort comme le veut la tradition. Rafa will join us in a few minutes. Uh, it's an honor to welcome the greatest players who've been uh, making history of this tournament. L'édition 2014 uh, du tournoi s'annonce à nouveau pleine de... Attention, c'est tombé. It fell down. So, s'annonce à nouveau pleine de, de promesses. Bien sûr, uh, Serena et Rafa font encore partie des favoris. Mais j'en connais beaucoup qui font tout pour, uh, pour tenter de, de vivre aussi ce moment incroyable, celui de soulever la Coupe des Mousquetaires ou la Coupe Suzanne Langlaine. I know there is a lot of expectation. For sure, Rafa and Serena will be the favorites. But I know a lot of players who want to uh, live fully this wonderful time of uh, holding the cup here in Roland Garros. Ce tournoi est un rêve pour tous les joueurs et toutes les joueuses. Dès le plus jeune âge, partout dans le monde, ils rêvent de venir fouler cette terre battue qui caractérise Roland Garros et de créer l'espoir dans ce lieu mythique. It's a dream for a lot of players. They are dreaming about sharing here these uh, matches and uh, uh, coming here on clay in that mythical arena. C'est aussi pour cela que nous sommes tant battus et que nous nous battrons encore pour imaginer et construire le stade de demain ici à Paris Port d'Auteuil. This is why we are uh, fighting and we'll do again for the future to build up a new project here in Paris. Ce fut au stade, vous, avez, vous venez d'en voir un aperçu, il est, il est splendide, il est, il est beau. Et je suis certain qu'il nous permettra de vivre très longtemps encore des moments intenses, à l'image de ceux qui ont façonné l'histoire du tournoi depuis 1928. You've seen uh, a lot of uh, pictures from that, uh, that project, and I'm sure we will have a lot of things to do for the future, build up this and following the history of Roland Garros. Je ne vous cache pas que, personnellement, euh, ben, je garde l'espoir d'assister euh, au sacre d'un Français ou d'une Française. Personally, I keep uh, thinking of and uh, dreaming of a uh, uh, success of a French player here. Et pourquoi pas cette année Why not this year? Nous verrons bien, mais quoi qu'il arrive, je sais que la quinzaine qui s'annonce sera passionnante, palpitante, riche en émotions. Alors, place au tirage et... 
bon tournoi à vous tous. There will be a lot of emotions for sure and this will be passionate uh, two weeks. So great draw for everyone. Thank you and good luck. Merci à vous tous. Merci okay. président. Merci beaucoup. Je vais vous inviter à rejoindre okay, so that was the, uh, votre place et nous allons débuter donc ce tirage. The draw now is going to begin this, uh, and uh, it's going to start. With Stephen Franson uh, and uh, Remy Azema, Azema, for the two tournament the referees. Yes. The draw sous la uh, je dirais, supervision de Monsieur uh, Proust, Maître Proust, qui est à nos côtés. Rémi. Merci, <coughs> mesdames et messieurs. Bonjour. Avant de procéder au tirage au sort des internationaux de France de Roland-Garros 2014, quelques mots donc, pour vous informer des retraits qui nous sont parvenus avant le début des qualifications. So there have been some people who pulled out. Do you know who they are already? Les forfaits ont été enregistrés, à euh, savoir la Biélorusse Victoria Zarinka et la Britannique oh, Laura Zarinka Robson. Zarinka with, with the women. Et les forfaits Robson. masculins, les forfaits parvenus toujours avant l'épreuve des qualifications ont été ceux de Juan Martin Del Potro, Florian Mayer et Yanko Tipsarevic. Mayer et Tipsarevic, oui. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Del Potro est toujours struggling with, uh, with injuries, yeah. on and off. Il revient et il est toujours le wrist. Oui, le wrist. C'est la deuxième fois, parce qu'il a eu ce problème avant aussi. C'est très triste de l'avoir ici. Dans un premier temps, nous allons procéder au tirage au sort du tableau du simple messieurs avec le placement des noms têtes de série. So we're going to start with the men's draw. And the way it's going to be done is electronically, it's going to be all the players that are going to be pulled out. And then Serena, who is here, she is in the house, uh, will come up on stage and she will draw the seeds. Exactly. Yeah. Play the 32 seeds. There, will be, uh, there are two uh, withdrawing from on the, on the uh, table. Robson and Azarenka for the women. And in the men's, it was uh, Maya, Uh, Del Potro and Tip Sarevich. So there will be 128 players. We start with the uh, Laura Robson, uh, the, the English girl who uh, uh, is out for quite a while, I think, players, because uh, she was we'll seen sidelined. Uh, she was uh, almost operated or, or operated. Anyways, definitely sidelined for a couple of months, maybe missing Wimbledon too, which is a shame for an English player. Okay, here we go, Guy. Feel free to jump in at any time. Uh, the music's playing. Genepri is going to play Rafa Nadal, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Henri Mathieu, wild card against uh, Thiem of Austria, very talented player. Very talented player, Leon very Maya, uh, Argentina with qualifier. amazing arm, this Dominic team. We have Jack Sock of the US who uh, will be facing a seed, so we'll see later who that is. Steve Johnson, also of the US, uh, who will be playing with qualifier. qualifier. Against Delbonis. Yeah, Delbonis in the semifinals against Simon and Nice exactly. uh, today. Karlovic is going to be playing a seed. Ivo Karlovic still, still, still around. Ivo Karlovic. And we have a French player, a French wild card, Axel Michon. Yes. Be playing uh, an American, Bradley Klan. This is going very fast. I hope you're following yeah. this. <laughs> we have so uh, Lucas put a wild card. Very, I mean, one of the future. Hopefully, you know, good French players against... Uh, Tough first oh. round. Yes, against Juan Monaco. Tough first round for Luca Pui, but he can definitely pull that out of his hat. Uh, very, very talented guy. We have an, uh, another French player, Adrien Manarino, who's yeah. playing Lou from uh, Taipei. Donald Young of the US against Dudicella of Israel. It's, uh, Some gifted players there. Very, very <laughs> talented players. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting match. Albano Olivetti, a giant, a French giant, who's a huge serve. Who will remember uh, put out Marty Fish in uh, Marseille in a first round, second round match. Bernard Tomic, who's going to be playing a seed. And right under him, another Australian, Leighton Hewitt, who will be playing oh, Carlos Berlock. Be Hewitt Berlock, tough first round. And then against Cuevas of Uruguay. Michael Oda, wild card. Against the seed? Yeah, against the seed. It's going to be tough for, for, for Michael Orr for his last French Open here. Exactly. He's celebrated, I think. We have the, the fun to watch Dustin Brown, who's playing uh, Australian Marinko Matusevic. Uh, then we go now the second half part of the main draw. We have uh, Samdev Devarman, who is at the top half. A qualifier will play a three or four seed. Benoit, Benoit Paire against Alejandro Faya. I mean, Paire, who still doesn't know if he's going to compete. You know, Struggling, he might, might yeah. pull out with his knee injury, unfortunately. Struggling. Tested himself in doubles in Nice last week. Kenny De Shep, another French guy, you know, six foot six against uh, Albert Montanes. Big servers. The French 
surprisingly now have developed these tall players. Yeah. They're big servers. They just need to they just need to to, to deliver a bit more. Uh, Radic Stepanek still around Radic. He's going to be playing against uh, Facundo Arguello of Argentina. Julian Benito against a qualifier. Yep. Yeah. That's not a bad draw. The eternal Filippo Volandri against Sam Query. Both players were in Nice. You have these players who play before Grand Slam and players who don't. Qualify against a qualifier. That's nice. So like a fourth round qualifying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what it is. Two Lucas checks or so? Well. Two against checks against Jerry Vesley, yep. Two checks playing each other. Michael Russell of the USA against Alejandro Gonzalez of Colombia. Where names are popping out, we have uh, Marcel Granollers. There's a client for you, a serious clay court player against Ivan Dodig of Croatia. Robin Hazel against Nikola Davidenko. That could be a very good match to watch as well. None of them are seeded, of course. Edouard Roger Vastlin is going to be playing a seed, which is unlucky for him because he's playing some good tennis. Uh, Jarko Niminen, the eternal, also playing uh, Michael Priesny of Poland. And who is going to uh, play uh, Novak Djokovic Guy? It's the big question everybody's looking. It's not going to be Jeremy Chardy. He could play Novak Djokovic in the second round, Jeremy yeah, Chardy, because of Spain. Novak Djokovic will playing Joao Souza. So Jeremy Chardy could play in Novak Djokovic in the second round. That's a tough second round. What's that first round? First place as well, but second, very, very difficult to win. So now we're going to have Serena. The applause you hear is for Serena. Looking good, Serena, I must admit. All dressed up for the occasion. And it's a pleasure to see you. I give you just a microphone for a few words. How are you? Parfait. C'est un plaisir de te retrouver encore une fois à Paris. Parce que je sais que tu aimes Paris. J'adore Paris. Parce que j'adore Paris. Parce que j'adore Paris. Her French is amazing. Je reste un peu beaucoup amis. C'est mon plaisir à rester ici maintenant. Merci beaucoup encore. She spends a lot of time in Paris, and she loves being here. She actually owns an apartment in Paris. Yeah. Ça va. After Jim Courier, who is speaking very good French, another former winner here at Roland Garros. I guess you, you win Roland Garros, so you, it makes you want to learn French. Probably. You spent 12 years of your life You speak French. Yeah, I do. And yet you never won Roland Garros. Félicitations. Merci d'être avec nous. Merci, Serena. Guy, of course, who won. Merci. How far did you go in Roland Garros? What was your best result? No, I think last 16, so I never really did too well. You made the second week. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Now, well, you know, it's better than a lot of people. I will have the final doubles twice. But <laughs> okay, Rafael Nadal, of course, will be playing. So, Robbie Ginepri of the USA. Well, that's uh, going to be interesting because Rafael Nadal playing tough first rounds in every tournament he's playing. And Ginepri is a, is a wild card, of course. Yeah, Ginepri coming back also was in Nice. Shouldn't be too much of a struggle for Rafa, but you never know because uh, the guy has been playing very many years on the tour, Robbie Ginepri. Yeah, a lot of experience. Exactly. Okay, so three and four, this is where the uh, suspense starts. And we have Stanislas Vavrinka playing Guillermo Garcia Lopez Guy. Should be a walk in the park for Stan. Well, you know, it, it's when well you have a Spanish guy, you know, you have to take the match very seriously because these guys really know how to play on the clay. You have a bad day. You only can struggle, especially in the first round. Guys like Vavrinka and, and, and of course Rafa, you know, as the tournament goes by, they play better and better. Yeah, yeah. Diesel engines. Roger Federer are going to play. Also a talented Slovak player, Lukas Lako. Yep. Uh, careful for Roger in that first round because it, he could be surprised there. Okay, now we have uh, five to eight coming in. David Ferrer playing. The draw with Rafael Nadal. Yeah, Ferrer and Nadal in uh, in a possible quarterfinal. Exactly, that was the finals from last year. It was. And Andy Murray is in the bottom half, so he can play Vavrinka in the quarters. He'll play Andre Golubev in a first round match. That uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem for him, but again, never know. Thomas Berdish, uh, top of the bottom half of the draw, he'll play a qualifier, so he'll be happy with that. Last year it was Gael Monfils who took him out in the first round. So much better draw for Berdish this year. Can't play Monfils because Monfils remind you. Oh uh, no, yeah, Mofis is going to come yeah. in. Can't play him because Mofis is, is a seed. Raonic yeah. against Nick Kyrgios. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Nick Kyrgios, uprising talent, Australian uprising talent. 
cette série numéro 11. Another wild card here was exchange of you know Grand Slam Australia and French Open. And and Minos Raonic, I mean, definitely one of the rising stars of tennis right now. Playing well, play, which is you know kind of surprising to a lot of people, but he does play well. Look at this match, Gasquet against Tomic. What do you make of that? Well, it depends on of Richard's back because he's been really struggling the last few weeks. He doesn't know yet if he's going to play. He's going to try to play for two hours this morning, and he probably will take his decision in the next few days. Okay, so for the moment he's still in. He's still in. So against Tomic, it could be a fun match to watch because Tomic, it's heads or tails, you know. Two very gifted players for sure. He should be another, you know, underdog here. With you could, you know. A lot of upsets. Number nine seed Nishikori, Jap Japanese in the top ten. That hasn't happened maybe ever or in a very long no, time. No, I think it's the first time. First ever time, yeah. Japanese top ten. He's doing really well in clay the last few weeks as well. Yeah, Tommy he uh, made the finals in Madrid. Pierre Hugarbert is going to play John Isner. It's going to be an interesting <laughs> test for him. Well, both great servers. So it won't be a typical clay court match, that's for sure. Yeah, that could go quick. Uh, this one I love, Fabio Fonini. Fabio Fonini against the qualifier. Fabio Fonini, is he going to be able to hold his nerves key? Well, you know, you'd hope so in a, in a, in a tournament that, that size, you know. He's struggling in Monte Carlo against Overfield Songa. Such, yeah, a, such a talented player. I know, I know. If only he can get a grip on his nerves. Exactly. Oh, look at that. Oh, that that's a very, very Songa, Roger Vasselin. match. I know, mm. and, and it's not easy for Joe because yeah, Edouard has been pl he's play playing the best in his career right now. Which the same cannot be said about Joe. Exactly. And, and so I'm sure Joe is, is going to take this match really seriously. Joe is not going to be happy with that draw. No. And uh, nor are the tournament organizers, definitely. They would like to see Joe be protected a bit. Remember that Joe is defending a semi-final from last year, so he has pressure, a lot of points to defend here. Look at that, Almagro. Almagro is not too far from Rafa, from Rafa. Nadal. I know, you know, I mean, he, beat, he beat Rafa in Barcelona, you know, Nicolas Almagro. You know, on a good day, he can beat almost anybody in that yep. tournament. Could so be a test. Exactly. There's another guy who uh, could play uh, Rafa in the second round is Bonoli Mathieu. Yeah. Played a yeah. historical yeah. match against Rafa exactly. here. Uh, was in 2006, I think. Played four sets. Played four sets and uh, was an amazing yeah. match. 7-5, 7-6, 7-6. Yeah, probably like one that. of the best matches Paul has played on that court. Tommy Robredo. Against a qualifier, uh, Tommy Robredo against a qualifier. Tommy Robredo is like still playing, and he's is he, he's older than you. I'm just kidding, but the guy is the guy is amazing. So fit, he's amazing. such a great athlete, a great competitor. Great all-round game. Here. We're going to let the, uh, this way we open the, the, sh the, the view for people. Jerzy Janovic, I remember, made the finals of uh, the tournament you were director of uh, two years ago. A Polish player who can also serve up a storm. And so now the last seeds, 25 to 32. So it's 32 seeds, so that's the diff big difference between the Masters 1000. You have double amount of seeds, you're protected. Supposedly protected until yeah. the third round. What if you know a few years ago? I mean, the Grand Slam used to have only 16 seeds, so you could have really tough matches from the first round on. When nowadays, you know, in the tournament, whether it's men's or women's, you know, usually they're a bit more protected. But you never know. You never know. So. Number 26 coming out now, and we are dealing with Feliciano Lopez. Against qualifier. Yeah, against the qualifier. Also, Feliciano Lopez, a Spaniard, but serve and volley, very offensive game. Cole Schreiber, who will play uh, Per Riba of Spain. And uh, Roberto Batista Ogut is Spaniard, so many Spaniards, very talented player, a lot of ex to be expected from him. He hasn't yet delivered Roberto Batista Ogut, but very, very talented player. Tursunov, back in the seats. I know, that's a great effort, great comeback. Playing a qualifier in the first round. Gilles Simon, a qualifier. Gilles Simon playing qualifier. Gilles Simon playing semifinals in Nice today against uh, Federico Del Bonis, as a matter of fact. 
and Marin Silic uh, will play Pablo Andujar. And that's it for the uh, men's draw. So, Guy, if you... Okay, it's Rafa Nadal coming on stage. I was going to say, Guy, let's take a look. Let's just... There's Rafa giving a hug to, to the speaker. Always nice, Rafa. Look at those two. Look at those two. How many how many titles are on stage right now? There? Well, <laughs> quite a, and it's not over because they might win a, you know, a few more. A lot of talent up there. Many titles. Between the two of them, there are 10, Ro 10 Roland Garros singles titles up there. Rafa having eight of them. <laughs> Which is pretty That's amazing. All time record. Okay, so let's take a look at this draw and uh, what stands out for you, Guy. Well, well, you know, we have we some uh, very you know, interesting first round. We have, you know, we said, of course, you know, Richard Merci. Gasquet against Tomic, you know, two very promising I mean, uh, good boys with a lot of talent. And uh, that'll be a big clash. That probably will be uh, probably a stadium Trace court match. Uh, we have a match as well with. Um, uh, where is he? Because there's so many of them. Merci. With Leighton Hewitt, who Leighton. was playing... Leighton Hewitt, who's playing Carlos Berlock, right under Gasquet and Tomic, uh, exactly, that's which gonna is going to be interesting. Big first round match. We have uh, Robbie Ginepri playing Rafa Nadal. We have Joao Souza playing Novak Djokovic. Uh, projected quarterfinals, Guy, is Nadal against... Uh, Tommy Haas, I believe. No, well, sorry. It could be, could be Almagro. No, Nadal Almagro, quarterfinals, possible. But if everything goes according to plan, we have Grigor Dimitrov, who has a tr tough first round against Ivo Karlovic. Never easy to play a guy who doesn't give you rhythm. It's hard. Uh, uh, you know, and Karlovic, he, he has, uh, has great hands. You know, every talk about his serve, but he moves well. He chips it well. You know, it's, it's always a nightmare if he's hot and dry. You play a guy like Isner, uh, uh, like Isner or Karlovic. You know, I mean, anything can happen. So, definitely, you have tough, a tough first round to deal with. Here's Rafa saying a word about Serena. Great inspiration after an unbelievable long career. He's, she's still number one and uh, she's able to keep competing at, at his best. So well done and all the best for the tournament. Merci à tous les deux. Merci pour ces amabilités. Very classic guy, Rafa Nadal, as usual. So if we take the draw and just go through logics, it should be Nadal Ferrer in the quarters. Yep. Bottom half should be Vavrinka Murray. Yep. And then the, the second, uh, third and fourth quarterfinals should be Berdic Federer against Federer. Which, which is, you know, I think for Roger, not a bad, not a bad draw. You know, I mean, out of the season, probably Thomas on clay is where he has his, you know, his, not his best results. And, and then know, Roger now is, you know, he's, he's, he's hoping, you know, because he's been playing well since the beginning of the season to move ahead. And he wants to avoid, you know, guys like... Uh, uh, like we saw, uh, like Almagro or Ferrer. Yeah, or Federer kind of definitely guys. in the better half of the draw for yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. And then bottom, last <coughs> quarterfinal should be, again, should be uh, Milos Raonic against uh, Novak Djokovic. Well, we could s we could see a Raonic against uh, Nishikori because Nishikori is playing so well, you know, I mean, they're so, their style is so different. But the winner of these two, you know, in my mind, you know, should go and play Djokovic. Who is a favorite in, in, in that bottom? Song, Songa and Djokovic is uh, part of the bracket also for a possible uh, round of 16 match. I know, huge, huge match. <laughs> that would be a stadium. Let's hope Songa makes it that far. Yeah. Uh, if he makes it that far, it means that he's he's yeah, better than we think he is, or yeah. at least. Although he, although he, uh, he played all right in Rome, so he's. He but just like all he's up against overall in the clay season, it hasn't been yeah. his best no. clay season. Well, since January, actually, he's been you know, playing, he had a lot of ups and downs. And you know, we all hope that he's going to you know, finally you know, rise his level here in Paris. Okay, well that concludes uh, the uh, men's main draw. And as, far as, as a matter of fact, as we're speaking, there you go, it's gone. The oh, women's yeah, main draw has started. Well, it's pretty far from where we're standing <laughs> now, so it's pretty hard to follow and if we could switch it. Well, it's but going very fast, but what we do see is that uh, it's, um, we're going to take it as we go along because we're now towards the bottom half of the first half, and it's a series of qualifiers yes. that are coming in. The seeds, we have Maria Kirilenko, who is uh, going to play against uh, La uh, Joanna Larsson of Sweden. Sweden. Yep. We have a qualifier coming in against Julia Gorgias. So good good first round for Julia Shacharpeer of Israel, uh, who will be playing uh, Jovan ja Jaksvich, Claire Feuerstein of France. Yeah, French girl, Wild card. Lefty. Olga Govertsova. So tough first round there. 
Uh, whenever you're playing a Russian girl on clay, it's bad news. Lepchenko. Uh, and, and then we have uh, Irakovic, uh, the New Zealander against Kishnenko, uh, Ukraine. Georgie, against yeah. Georgie qualifiers. I think we'll really take you through it when the draw, the seeds will come in because it's a bit hard to uh, Casey keep track. Casey Delacroix, Lino. For the Lourdes, moment, not not a hu Spain. no huge first rounds. So far, no. Karen Garcia, French girl, has been doing so well in the last few weeks. Very, you know, a lot of expectations from her here in that tournament. She, she did very well in, in Fed Cup. Yeah, very well. Beat the U.S. almost on her own. Yeah. In the in the U.S. without Serena Williams, but hey. That helps. You snooze, that you helps. lose, right? Well, yeah, it does help, definitely. <laughs> you know, she'll be playing a seated Karin Garcia. Ursula Radwanska against Riba Rikova, the sister of Agnieszka Radwanska. And uh, whereas we're going down along, uh, we have um, Anatashvili, uh, Narakurumi against Anatashvili. Still uh, no. Uh, no big shocks for the moment. Looks like also uh, a lot of seeds are going to be playing qualifiers in the first round, which is uh, Julia Glushko, second Israeli girl. Two Israeli girls in the first round, which is pretty rare. <laughs> Janina Wickmeyer yeah, of Belgium, also playing a seed. She was supposed to be uh, a big shot and finally it hasn't quite come through as she was expected to, Janina Wickmeyer. Kimiko Date, still there. It's amazing. <laughs> An unbelievable amazing. performance from her. Some of these players who just just keep on going. Stefanie Vogelé, Switzerland. And then finally Christian we Mladenovic. have... Oh, oh Mladenovic, who will be playing Maria Sharapova most probably. Yeah. <laughs> Tough draw for Christina, the French girl, Christina Mladenovic, who will be playing Maria Sharapova. Okay, so here comes Rafa, back on stage, shaking everybody's hand as usual. <laughs> Guy just, he's, he's born to be a politician, he shakes hands so professionally. What a good guy. Way too honest, I think, to be a politician. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. <laughs> he might have to, though. <laughs> so good. So Serena in the top half. Oh no, it's Lina, it's not Sharpova. My mistake, folks. So Lina against Mladenovic. Well, you know, it's a tough one for Lina as well. Yeah. Well, it's better from you know, Mladenovic to play Lina than... So she could be I mean, a top ten in the, in the world one day. I mean, it's just such a great potential. Definitely better for Mladenovic to play Lina than Maria. Yeah. Definitely. Especially after her performance in Rome. In Madrid, sorry. In Madrid. A qualifier, there she is. She plays a qualifier, Maria Sharpova, to start this tournament. Angelique Kerber will play uh, Peter. Kvitova will play Diaz, Wimbledon and champion, Yankovic. former Wimbledon champion. And then Yankovic, also now been around, has played 11 French Opens. From 9 to 12, so tête de série 9 à 12, prochaine étape. 9 to 12, coming out now. Dominika Sibulkova. Radzano, French. Radzano against Sibulkova. That's a tough draw That's for Radzano. Very tough draw. But well, for Sibulkova as well. Remember uh, Radzano beating yeah. Serena yeah. here a couple Absolutely. of years ago in the first Absolutely. round. Radzano able to, on any, any given day, she could beat exactly. anyone. Exactly. Ivanovic. Oh, Anna. Karin Garcia. Oh, very tough draw for Kaolin. <laughs> well, very for Anna as well, I tell you. Yeah, you're right. You're right. As a non-seed, that's probably a oh, player you don't want to pick. Exactly. But then again, you would have hoped for maybe yeah. something a bit easier for her to start the and tournament. Play with a qualify, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, we have Sarah Irani. Where does Sarah Irani go into this draw? Uh, 
Uh, my eyes are deceiving me. Oh, there she is. Madison Keys, Sarah Rennie. So tough draw for Madison Keys because Sarah Rennie on clay, she's been the finalist here. She was finalist in Rome last week before getting punished by Serena in the finals. Three in love. Well, a lot of girls get punished by Serena, actually. <laughs> yeah, probably some boys, too. He's so good. Sloan Stevens. Sloan Stevens. Against Shui Peng. It's getting closer to us. It's easier to read. Caroline Wozniacki against Vosniaki against Vickmeyer. Caroline Wozniacki making the news on the romance side. It's over with Rory. Did you hear, Guy? Yeah, I heard that, but you never know. Maybe they get back together again. You know? Nah, this was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best news to come into a Grand Slam. Let's hope it doesn't affect her too much. Roberta Vinci. Roberta Vinci against Pauline Parmentier. Tough match for the French girl. Yeah. Roberta Vinci, a clay court specialist, also playing some of her best tennis. Stoser also now. Cornet. She's in good form right now, Alize Cornet. Lovely expectation from her. She's playing well. Ashley. I didn't see that. Eugenie Bouchard, uh, the Canadian sensation, sensation playing Shahal Peir of Israel. Yep. So that should be an easy walk in the park for Eugenie. Also a very hopeful player. Mandy Minella. Mandy Minella against Lucy Safarova. Makarova against Shelby Rogers. Belgian, Kirsten, Kirsten Flipkins, now a seed. She used to be around 100. Also a girl who's been making a lot of progress. She deserves to be a seed. Pavlyu Chinkova against Kimidate Krum. And now the end of the seeds coming in. And Venus Williams is going to be coming into this draw. She's still a seed. Amazing to see her, though, at 29 <laughs> seeds. It's kind of weird. It's Venus. Is used to so many Williams. Belinda Bencic. Now, Belinda Bencic, you're familiar with the Swiss hopeful player. She's 16 years old. She's coached by Monica Seles's, uh, um, not Monica Seles's mother, um, uh, uh, the, the other Swiss. Help me, Guy, the Swiss girl. Martina Hingis. Martina Hingis' mother. And she is amazingly talented, amazingly talented, this girl. She hurt the French in Fed Cup uh, in the first round earlier this year. Kuznetsova against the qualifier, also Kuznetsova. She played 12 years here, Kuznetsova. With a 2009 win. Exactly. Tora Flores against the Kukalova of Czech Republic. Qualifier for Sirste of Romania. And finally, Petkovic of Germany. We'll play Lisa Kultoy. One question with you coming back to. Here's a question for Rafa. I know you like the place. It seems that these days you were more confident with your tennis because we saw you with having some problems in Monte Carlo, but now it's getting better. Maintenant ça va mieux. Well, that's part of the sport, no? More than getting problems, I lost. And that's, uh, that's part of, of tennis. The opponents are, are good. Um, I didn't play very well in Monte Carlo and uh, Barcelona, but later in Madrid and Rome, especially, I think I improved it. So, you know, every tournament is different. I am here happy to be back in, in Paris. It's my favorite city. And for sure, this tournament always uh, have been probably the most important tournament of my career, so always probably. be back in Roland Garros is a, is a great By far. <laughs> the guys won eight First times match with here. Robbie Ginevri, you know Robbie. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. No, it could almost be the Rafa Nadal Open. But he's always so humble, you know, and, and, and uh, he try. respects so much you're the guys he's going to play against. That's why, you know, he's been so successful in any of the tournaments he played. Absolutely. To think that the first time he won here was in 2005. 
when Zinedine Zidane gave him the trophy and Zinedine Zidane was still a football player back then. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> so, in the women's draw, Guy, quickly. We well, you know, it, it seemed like it's, I mean, the, 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 the city like really protected, we, we, except maybe one match we saw earlier on. I, I can't see, sorry, my eyes are not good enough, but <laughs> because it's the draw is so far away, we have a tough first round. I think we have Maria and Serena in the same half of the draw. Yeah. And in fact, I think they could even play quarterfinals. It's a potential quarterfinal, Sharapova against Serena Williams. So that's going to be a tough. Well, it seems like very Serena is on top of the other girl at the moment. You know, yeah. and you know she she, she nobody, does well. You nobody, know. Really, uh, nobody really, nobody um, really uh, can really challenge her that much. Well, Anyways, she's playing well, yeah. Guy, thank you very much for well, it was uh, my pleasure for being be with here. us. Uh, we hope you have a great tournament. We hope everything we goes tip top. Lots of sun. Lots of sun, no rain. Yeah, we keep the rain for the qualifying, hopefully for the main draw. No <laughs> rain dances, no <laughs> rain dances. Uh, hope you enjoyed the broadcast. I'm Ilan Weinstein, this of course is Guy Forger, and we wish you an excellent 2014 Roland Garros.